Hello. Okay, well, if you're a football fan, you're probably going to be quite interested in this because I'm uh, in a spot where one of the most famous football managers is finally at rest. And I'm at St Almond's Church in Duffield. Let's swing it round to the important stuff. Here we go. And actually, I just say, I miss the road if you ever come. There's a nice little road down there. I missed it and saw Church Lane or whatever it's called. I had to walk right down there and over the railway. So this is St Almond's Church and it's the final resting place of Brian Clough. Well, I grew up watching Brian Clough. He always seemed very, very outspoken and, and often quite right. I'm not a football fanatic by any means. In fact, I don't watch football, but I realised he was quite a influential manager. Um, he was a striker as a young man. And he, uh, I think he won the, it was the highest goal scorers. Um, there goes the train. Whoa! <laughs> uh, in 204 games he scored 222 goals which is quite an achievement and uh, he won two England caps while playing for Division 2 I could have made it work having had time uh, obviously uh, it's, it's inevitable I made a few mistakes during the 44 days what sort of mistake? well perhaps, uh, perhaps I didn't give them chance enough to get over the guy that was there before me because he was there for a long long time Perhaps I wanted to, you know, get with them the same feeling as they'd had with the other guy. I'm loath to mention him, you know, and if we can refrain from doing it, we'll do so. <laughs> it's really like the other house of Commons. You, you, you hate to mention him, why? I hate to mention him, why? Because he's a very talented man and I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's don't very... ask me why. Because it is, you... that, that's exactly what it is. He's a very, very talented man and his uh, record is unsurpassable. But I just don't happen to like him. And I don't like the way he goes about football either. Football is a, a game of opinion. There are people in your profession perhaps don't like the way you do your bit. Sure. And, uh, you know, it, it makes the game go round. There's half the country don't like a, a, a Labour government. Mm. Just happens that the other half do. Why don't you want me to ask why you don't like it? Because I can't tell you. It's impossible. We'd get closed down, David. <laughs> <laughs> Then he got injured, unfortunately. So, uh, he, oh, here we are. We've found, we've got it here. Look, let's stop the breakdown of his career. So, have a little look. Here we are. Brian Howard Clough, 1935 to 2004. Very nice. Well, that's lovely. Yeah. He, um, he was injured, like I said, and he went to Hartlepool United. Uh, they're now called Hartlepool. At the age of 30, he was the youngest manager in the football league. So, obviously quite a guy. And he, he moved to Derby in 1967. We'll be looking church. And I think he got them to Division 1 in 1969. And then, I think it was, there were Division 1 Championship they won it in 1972, First Division Championship. There we go, a little pan round. Lovely place if you want to, to come and visit. He got an OBE in 1991. And he's often called the greatest manager England never had. He would have been a good manager, but I think they interviewed him twice, 1977 and 1982. But I think it was so sort of controversial that they were a bit worried that it might take over too much. He died, as it says there, in 2004. And they actually uh, renamed the road, the A52, connecting Derby to Nottingham as Brian Clough Way, so that was quite a, a accolade for him. It's his wife there as well, Barbara. So, yeah, Brian. Well done, my son. He did a good job as a football manager. I mean, not that I'm very much into football, but I have seen interviews of him on Parkinson and things like that, and I've watched the film drama of his career. He managed Hartlepool United, Derby County, Brighton and Hove's Albion, Leeds United and Nottingham Forest. Honours were two European Cups, two Division One Championships, four League Cups. Hmm. 
Very impressive. Nice looking church. Permanently at 12 o'clock by the look of the, the, the uh, tower clock. Very nice spot though. Apart from the trains whizzing past. Never mind. Don't suppose people are bothered. But resting here. Okay, well there we go. That's Brian Clough. Brian Clough, you were quite a manager. Some probably might think the best manager that's ever been. Um, and he was quite a TV celebrity. Quite a character all round. So, thank you Brian Clough. See you all. Take care. When you die and someone writes your epitaph, what would you like them to say about you? Oh, no. No, I've never, ever given it a thought about dying. <laughs> you know, and it frightens me. It frightens me to think that I'll ever get to the stage where I will contemplate dying. Um, it, it, you know, it, they tell me it happens to us all, but I've not quite got into that bracket yet where I'm thinking about it. When they write it, I'll tell you what. I don't want anybody to write anything. I just want a couple of people around there when I die.